Today, I want to talk a little bit more about Make. If you missed my last video, it explained the basics of Make in 60 seconds. So if you haven't seen that, you should probably watch that first. This one will make more sense. But today, I want to just go a little deeper into Make and look at what it can do. Specifically, I want to focus on automatic variables, which allow you to take some of the redundancy out of your Make files and make those Make files a little more efficient. So let's look at an example Make file. If, if you just use what I taught you in the last video, your make files will look something like this. You're going to have a bunch of targets that compile a bunch of different files into object files and then probably link them together into a single binary. Your make file is likely to look something like this. And this is great, except that it's a bit repetitive. So you notice that e each of my rules look a lot alike. I'm repeating myself over and over again. And as the number of files grow, this make file is going to get really big. And so automatic variables allow me to condense this a bit. So there are variables that allow you to specify automatically the name of the target or the dependencies from the target. So let me show you how we would trim this down using automatic variables. So I can, I can basically replace the target name with a variable that refers to the target. Uh, now I can also, I can use the variable that specifies the dependency list. So I only have to list it once. Uh, you'll notice that still two of these are exactly the same. It turns out that anytime I take a .c file and I try to go to a .o file, the operation is going to be exactly the same. And as long as that's the case, then I can actually use patterns and just make one rule that gets them all. So that so that's automatic variables. They basically the whole the whole point is to make your make files more efficient and shorter. Now there is one drawback that you should be aware of, and that's simply that sometimes when you use automatic variables, if, you, if you're dealing with people who aren't familiar with Make, this could affect readability. So, so someone who's new to Make looks at a Make file that has a lot of automatic variables, and this just looks like a lot of mess. And they may this may be intimidating. Uh, it may scare some people off. So I'll let you decide what you do for your project. But once if you're dealing with programmers that all know Make, then automatic variables allow you to have a much more concise build system. It's easier to maintain and easier to write and is all around usually a good thing. So I hope that helps. I hope that expands your toolkit just a little bit today. I hope, I hope you found that useful. And until next time, I will see you later.